Okay, it's Thank six o'clock. Call the meeting to order. We're still short some budgets. Um, so we don't really have that money that we're going to take a look at. But uh, John called me earlier today and reminded me or, that there's a frontier meeting tonight at seven, seven o'clock. Yeah, well, they're just going to vote, right? They're going to vote the, uh, the capital improvement. capital improvement budget. I haven't seen the agenda, but. Uh, my feeling is that the, uh, there's no public comment. That's fine. I, it's we we shouldn't take more than 45 minutes, so that's why. No, no, okay. Well, it's a special meeting agenda. Just the vote. And they're going to vote. And that's it. At April 4th instead of April 5th. Right. April's three months that. from now. Almost. Have one. Thank you. I know, it's kind of, you're right, that is a big day. Isn't it? So the question is, what do they have in a special meeting for? I believe they're meeting tonight and then again on April 4th. Yeah. April? I think 3rd or 4th. I don't know what's going on, that's the reason I'm just asking. I And then I got another question on that, <laughs> and that is, uh, are they supposed to be going through the capital improvement committee? I would think they would have to. No, because they're regional, and so it's not. It was not in in the original. Uh, in the original creation, the document, as far as being a regional. So that's why they're doing this. They're creating their own uh, capital improvement <coughs> fund, almost like an enterprise fund. So because it's regional, it does not come to the CI, CIPC committee. Yeah, it'll be, as my understanding, it'll be part of the budget. Yeah. After a line after, item, right? Line item after the, the first year, I believe. So, <clears throat> what about this year? This year, I think it's going right to the annual town meeting for a vote for each, each, from each town, each town, all four towns. So, it's going to become, a, I, I believe, from what I read, if I understand it correctly, it would be a situation of it would, as Bruce mentioned, it would become a line item in their budget. And if if all the towns voted for it and approve it, then they get their capital improvement funded. But if if you'd have to have two out of the four towns not support it, so you'd have to call it on the annual at the annual town meetings. Is my understanding of it. Now I could be wrong, but that's that's how I read it. I suspect we're going to have to. Well. You know, if we're sitting with the ability to raise an additional four to fifty thousand dollars, give or take, in in revenues, and uh, the schools, both schools, have historically, on an annual basis, increased their their request or they're spending by something in excess of a hundred thousand dollars that's two hundred thousand dollars there um, and both schools are looking for capital improvement programs uh, I, I think it pretty well eats up the well the Deerfield the elementary school the Deerfield elementary school would have to come before the yes. capital improvement yeah. committee. Right. They but do. the regional school does not. Well I, I understand. My point yeah. is that, you know, I'm not sure where right. the money's going. Dollar amount. And uh, I I could be wrong, but I can't believe that uh, the other three towns are in any better financial situation as a general rule than we are. I, you know, 10 years ago, 
uh, Sunderland attempted or, or requested a prop two and a half override, and they got shot down. And the effect was that they had to cut substantial amounts out of their budgets. It was 2009. Something eight. in the, yeah, something in that range. And they passed an override last year. Well, did they pass yep. a prop two override? Yep. Okay. And I'm not sure. Uh, Conway passed a prop two override. I'm going to say 20 years ago, <laughs> and it, of some significance. And last I knew, they they had had, and that was that was five or six years ago. So I don't know what they have now. Their levy limit was a little higher. Uh, Waitley, I don't know what their situation is. But in any event, it's going to be pretty close. So the first budget we're going to take a look at. Go to the minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. A couple right. of revisions yes, I do. to the minutes. Um, was Wendy here last week? Yes. Okay. I didn't include her. And I had two motions and seconds that I've. I didn't get one was a selectman salaries and the other one was the accountant's expense. Have we, yes, we passed both of them. Yeah, we did. I didn't know who did. Uh, you want to know what the... Uh, who motioned what? Selectman's salaries, what are they, 122? Yeah, I, yeah, I got them, but I don't know what, who... Uh, it was 700. Yeah, I got them. Okay. I'll figure it out. So those, there's three corrections that I see. And what's the other one? That um, accountant's expense was seven zero zero. Mm -hmm. I just didn't have the motion. Who motion made the oh, motion? Oh, I didn't write those down. That's right. I probably got them at home. If I, I'll look again. Okay. The location one dollar have passed. Reserve fund hundred thousand have passed. <clears throat> Well, with those three corrections, I move to accept the minutes. Second. Moved, seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> Opposed? It's unanimous. Uh, five zero zero. The first item that I, that we looked at, I looked at these this afternoon with with Brenda and. and the thought was that we'll take a look at these, and if anybody has any uh, concerns, uh, since we don't have anybody representing the, the various boards, that we'll just table them until there is somebody here from those, uh, from those boards. So the first one is the select board and administrator expenses, $11,150. That's the same as was voted last year. Any questions? What's the number on that one, Skip? Hmm. 11,150. 122,5400. I suppose I should give you those since I've got the ones checked off here. If there are no questions, could I have a motion? I, I do have a question. Okay. There was a concern last year in the, um, they wouldn't have enough money to do books, forms, um, the town meeting booklets. That's, in, that's in town office. It's expense. Town, it's in yeah, town but we'll, office. Get to, we'll get to that tonight well, too. Because it was not in this one. And it's not in this one. So what are miscellaneous books, forms, et cetera? Right now. That would be anything that's needed for the uh, at, uh, administration office or for the select board. Okay. I, I should, okay. No. I'm all set. Okay. Motion. I table it if there's no no motion. Okay, we'll put that one on the table. The next item that we're going to do is 192-5400, town office building maintenance. Did you want to do um, planning board first? That's right, you did say we had, okay, let's do planning board. 
I didn't have them checked off. Okay, you that's one seventy-five fifty-four hundred. That's one of those I just gave you tonight. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's a thousand dollars, the same as last year, the same as the year before. Correct. Any discussion? Make a motion. We approve it. I'll second it. It's moved. Seconded. All, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Is it unanimous? Five, zero, zero. Yeah. Town office building maintenance, which is 192 5400. Yeah. Um We've added another 25,000 again for the church maintenance. Correct, same, same as the last two years. Yeah. How much, we didn't spend 18's money. Pardon? We didn't spend any of 18. I don't believe we did. Yeah, we so, have, we oh, have spent this, a little yeah. bit in 2019. We haven't carried anything forward, have we? No. So we yeah. have 25 this year. And we are we are using some of it for heat and you know various various things. I uh, can't remember, but Keys. mostly um, Keys. what's that? Keys. Keys. Yeah, which is very expensive. No, no, so, but utilities generally. Yeah. You know the the twenty five thousand dollar figure was a figure that um, Skip and I discussed way back when. When you yeah, said and, and when you said to, to maintain the building on a regular basis, it was costing them like twenty seven thousand dollars or something like that. But that was yeah, obviously I've, with people using it. That's correct. So when we put twenty five thousand into the budget, we, it was the idea that well, it's it's kind of a placeholder. Yeah. It should cover ninety percent if we're using it, and it'll be too much if we're not using it. But that way we're covered. Right, we didn't own it, correct. Okay. So is this where the... No, it's where the... So is that money, that trick building maintenance money, sort of in case we need it? Or yes. Or you plan it? Exactly. And I, you know, I'm guessing we'll, we'll use a certain portion of it, but what portion of it, it depends on how we use it or if we use it or how, it? how hard of a winter it is or... Right, but it is for maintenance only. It is for maintenance, correct. Okay. Maintenance utility. Yeah, that has nothing to do with the feasibility no, study. If something falls off the building, we can use this money to fix it? Yeah. Repairs also? Pardon? Repairs? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so, a cash so, long as, so long as we didn't, we're not trying to renovate something. I would no, say. if somebody runs yeah. in the side of the building. Yeah, uh, yeah. That type of thing. Right. Snowfall takes all the siding off. What's that? The snowplow takes all the siding off. <laughs> yeah. Do we have to pay for the snowplow? No. What's that? Nothing. Why do we have grounds maintenance in there? We don't have the highway department take care of the grounds? Uh, they, can't, they can't take care of all of it. So some of the grounds maintenance is done by Sokolowski. Um, I'm trying to think of who else does uh, some of the grounds maintenance. Pardon? Mm -mm. I don't think. Sokolowski um, would do most of it. Yeah. But that's grounds, grounds maintenance for, no, that's right, that's just around this building. Because well, no. the senior center takes care of theirs and the, and the library takes care of theirs. So the grounds maintenance would be also for STEMS. Highway. And um, no, the highway is covered under the highway department. Um, but skims and the church right now and, and this building. What about the custodial services? I was just curious. That's, that's uh, the cleaning of this building and the uh, police this station. This building, okay, all right. That's yeah. why I want to make sure. Of right, because the library pays for their own and the right. senior center pays for their own. Okay. And um, I think EMS is doing their own. Uh, yeah, but that's in their budget anyway. Right. Any further questions? I will move the 89.4. Second. It's moved, seconded. 
All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Is that unanimous? Yeah. yeah. Five zero zero. The next one that we were going to look at is the next page. Town office expenses. And the same deal there. They same budget as last year. Right. This is where you were uh, yeah. where the um, budget line item is for town reports. Publishing. How and they work we, out? No, the publishing is um, for um, oh, any kind of ads that we have to yeah. place, whether it be for employees or for public hearings or um, that kind of thing. But uh, town reports is where the money is to prepare our town report. How was it? Was it close? Um, I can't remember. It was, you know what, it was very, very, very tight. Uh, Pat did a lot of, a lot of um, haggling with with people to get the best yeah, price. We did the year before too. So. Yep. We, base, we normally uh, base what we're going to print on the budget, like how many copies. You know, we could print more copies of them if we, you know, we, we stay within the budget. In other okay. words, we print, you know, go to print with somebody with some certain amount. Right. So we do it within the con whatever the budget. So is. we can get for five thousand dollars. Yeah. Basically. And so, so how many last, do we have left? <laughs> last year. Um, we reduced what we printed right. from from somewhere between four and five hundred. We went down to three fifty, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes, we went yeah. to three fifty last year. So and that was enough, that's wasn't exactly it? how many are we sitting around? Have sitting around. So we we're, were also looking at ways to make the reports more, um, you know, more interesting, so that people want to hold on to them, you know, for for reasons, you know, to have them for reference. So we're looking at that for this year too. So yeah. we'll probably still look at printing three fifty. Because we did have some left, I believe. You did. Yeah, we okay. did. Great. I forgot. No. Box I think, I'm not sure exactly how many. Any any more comments, questions? Make a motion. We approve it for twenty three thousand. I'll second that. Moved. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Five zero zero. Is that? Um, we are not ready to do insurance, so if you want to pass, okay. over, pass over general insurance tonight, um, we're waiting for a quote. Okay. Uh, the next item that we were Can I ask you a question on insurance? Sure. How many quotes do they have? Do they uh, just go to Maya, or do they go out? Oh, I wasn't planning to go out to bid this year. I was just seeking a quote from Maya. I don't know how often the time generally goes out. Maya has been exceptional with their pricing on both workers' comp and, and general insurance, and they, they are always below what they say they're going to be. I, I'm thrilled with them. I don't know why we'd move at this point. I mean, I'm sure it's a good idea to do every so often, but we've been with them, what, two, three years now, and they've saved us bucket loads of money. One yeah. question that I got is, how much do you charge scams for the insurance? I charge scams whatever Maya tells me is their share. And how much is that? Uh, Two years ago I asked the question. I don't remember. We're, they were charging $50 for the whole year for running a I business. I think for general liability that's correct because Maya said you can't really break them out from the town. It's, it's impossible. So that's, that's generally what, you know, about what they're getting charged for general liability. And then they're paying for their vehicle insurance. So what you're saying is out of $61,000 for insurance, SCAM's insurance is $50 a year. No. There's probably, it's probably closer to 2500 with the vehicles in there. No. Last year we reduced it. Four thousand. You think it's no need to reduce it this year? We added two buildings this year. So. Yeah, we did add two buildings. Um, so far this year, it's been I think forty-nine thousand. Uh, it's been a while since I've looked at my month-end so reports, but I thought it was like forty-nine thousand so far this year. Yeah. And they usually get one or two small bills in before the end of the okay. year, and I can't remember what those small ones are for, or maybe it's just for changes. Um, so. Maybe we 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 have more in there than what we what we need, but uh, hard to say at this point. Okay, so you're not recommending to reduce it. I don't think so. No. And you said we added two buildings. Yeah. Church. Yeah. The the uh, the church and uh, the Skims building. So the church wasn't insured last year. 
Uh, we didn't have it until May, or when was that that got transferred? Sorry, sorry. We closed on it this year during this fiscal year. Oh, okay. And this fiscal year. Pretty sure. Okay. It was very partial of previous year if it was. Which makes sense because we didn't have any um, building maintenance costs either until 2000, the fiscal year 2019. Yeah, okay. we, we did get, if I recall, an adjustment for this fiscal year for the church. We yeah. got an additional amount, like a rider, mm -hmm. when they had added the church on. So that's probably in, in this year. But now we need to fund it for the full year in 2020. So we're, we're not... We're not yeah, we wanted to wait because she's still waiting for, yeah, for we've, information. Yeah, we've requested a quote. So the next one we have is what veterans benefits, which is in tab five. No, is it the we same? Did, one of the no, things we did veterans we got, uh, it, district you know, assessment. Just want to ask a quick thing on that the previous insurance thing for a minute. Um, they um, we have cybersecurity insurance, which they gave for this first year for free, mm -hmm. and we don't actually know what that might cost. So it right. could possibly go up a little right. bit, but right. um, if we want to keep that. That's which right. I That's assume we would. Yep. So um, that could be one other thing that could add to the cost. Yeah. We did the Veterans Day Memorial Day expense. Yeah. yeah. And we also did uh, the, the Veterans, Veterans District, District Assessment, assessment too. Correct. So the Veterans Benefits is actually what we pay to the veterans, uh, the monies that the get regional, allocated yes. to them. Pardon? What, what number we have? Uh, 543 10. No, because we're going to try to, or at least one, try to get out of here to see it. And take, have a few minutes to decide when we're going to meet next and what we're going to talk about next. Okay, uh, veterans benefits, twenty-five thousand uh, dollars. Any? This, the note, the explanation about current benefits to total fifteen thousand for FY nineteen, which is on the low side compared to prior years. Can somebody explain it to me? Sure, absolutely. So, um, well, I'm, I'm not sure I can do as good of a job as Barb, <laughs> but. This is money that gets paid to the veterans to help with certain expenses, and it's determined by uh, the veterans um, district, regional district that we correct the ones that paid on in. that previous uh, budget sheet that we pay for the district assessment. So they just happen to be loaded. It just so happens that we Changes. only have two people right now that are getting benefits, but we budgeted a little higher for the idea that maybe there might be somebody else that would come in just just to be safe. That's all. And we get part of that back from the state. We do get part of that back in our cherry sheet assessments, yeah. correct. There's um, legislation that's been filed to, uh, as it was many years ago, get either 100 or at least guarantee the 75% that used to be mm -hmm. reimbursed yeah. years ago. Um, and, and the towns are a little bit at odds with the district about this because the district sees it as kind of a threat to their services that the potential is for the state to take over the program. And a lot of town... Administrators that like thinks that might not be a bad idea because of the costs sometimes have in, uh, in the last since the Iraq war actually created a whole new um, uh, number of beneficiaries and shocking higher costs, you know, with uh, smaller communities. It was a, a big thing. So at any rate, that's going on. Um, and but this is what it is. And Allison, did you, you saw the FY18 expenditure? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was higher than lower than higher than much higher than higher in 2014. <coughs> 2014 was 31,753, mm -hmm. so. And we might have had five people at that time. I can't remember. Yeah. Um, there were quite a few well, on the why, list at one time. That's why I think that note is saying we're potentially low. Yeah. I mean, we can, we can postpone voting on this if, if no, that's... No, not a no. problem. Okay. Make a motion we approve veterans' benefits. I'll second it. $25,000. 25. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Five zero zero.
Uh, next one is interest on maturing. Interest on temporary loans. Tempor excuse me, interest on temporary loans. Should it's 752, 5900. Yeah, it should be the only one that you have in that section right now. Yeah. Um, I've chosen not to print the maturing debt or the interest on maturing debt because we have in there right now what we know, what are the knowns, but the unknowns at this point, we're just kind of waiting to print those sheets until we have a little better idea on what's going to happen with the wastewater treatment plant um, and uh, Oxford if you're planning on doing anything with Oxford. Make a motion we approve the 5,000. I'll second it. Any questions on this? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Five zero zero. Uh, the next one, uh, nine ten fifty eight hundred and uh, unfunded sick leave and vacation. That should be in tab uh, eight, yeah, the very first one in tab eight. Yes. Even though it says nine, nine yeah, tab eight and nine are, yeah, or tab eight has all the nine hundreds. Yeah, tab oh. eight is eight and nine, all your eight yeah. hundreds and nine hundreds, just because we ran out of numbers. So that's just being uh, suggested level funding. You you can see what. <clears throat> what's been expended over the past uh, six or seven years from a low of $3,700 to a high of $1,700. Well, actually, a low of zero, but... <laughs> it's low of zero, okay, and to a high of $17,000. <laughs> so we're, you know, it's a stab in the dark. Well, we, we must know some of it right now. Oh, it's... Um, I'm not sure. It's on your page four. Oh, uh, I'm just making a statement, Scott. Oh, okay. Do, do you... Is there anything in the uh, that we've expended out of the? No, I'm just saying we know somebody's retiring. Okay. I wonder who. <coughs> well, this is often for. Um, yeah. uh, well, this is it, for unfunded school so, employees. And... So, for instance, with the select board um, office, I think we can pay for that in that budget right. rather than because there's extra in there. So I wasn't I wasn't yes. anticipating using this particular right. account for that. Um, There's it happens mostly with school employees. Um, when the only thing it does is skews our budget sheets when we do that. I mean, you might be taking money out of salary. Well, this is this is for unfunded. So right. there's funds within there's her funds, budget yeah. for that. So um, yeah. it's more for when when you don't have that yeah. opportunity to to. Okay. Um, let them take it out of their Spend budget first, and if budget. they don't, then you go to this one. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Make a motion we approve this for 10000 Second. Oh, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Zero. Five, zero, zero. Um, workers' comp, the next item on the agenda. Uh, nine twelve fifty four hundred. Yeah. So you'll have to explain that one. The workers' comp. So um, Barb felt that she had some pretty good. Um, I'm just looking to see if I have her her information here. I think I left it in my office. Um, she felt like we we've, we've had now three years with Maya, and she felt like she had some good numbers to compare against. And it seemed like we'd always budgeted too high, and part of it was that Maya was constantly giving us all these credits. So this year, she plugged in an estimated 15% of credits off of what she believes would be the initial bill because they have this initial bill and then they give a deduction for this and they give a deduction for this and they give a deduction for this and then they come down to this bottom line. So she's, she's tried to, to um, estimate that as best as she can. 
And um, in doing so, then, we've also estimated that same discount for SCAMS and wastewater treatment plant so that they get charged the appropriate amount. amount. Um, uh, it seems a little fair uh, all the way across the board. Make a motion we approve the 55,152. I'll second it. It's moved, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Five zero zero. Uh, next page uh, unemployment insurance 913 5400. I would have a question before you. When you do wastewater treatment plant, do you include part of Kevin in the offset? He, some of his time is. Uh, this, these are numbers that are given to us from Maya, so I'm not exactly okay. sure how so, they come oh, up with their numbers. Uh, I, it seems high, 5,000 compared Were you asking to, a different question? Okay. No, no, he's, he's asking how we, how we came up with, with that number, if right. it included Kevin. I don't think so. Well, this, the other one seems high compared to 10 employees at the skims and only three employees at Ways for Treatment. Uh, it's, it's the nature of their work. It's, it's how yeah. they're coded it's in the system. Yeah. Yeah, well, the nature yeah. of the work should be pretty equal, I would say. No, no, they do yeah. it by the big, workers' big compensation audit. That. They mm -hmm. do every year. So who is higher, skims or Ways for Treatment? They're both I'm high. not sure. That's but, what um, but if I had the, okay. the material yeah. that Barb gave me, I, just, I would know well, that. But okay. We could get that. We have that information. That done. Yeah. I wouldn't they be surprised that, well, yeah, that Barbara scams did it, is probably so higher. I would think so, too. Yeah, yeah, but that, then, the numbers don't make sense. And, and, and it's, it's yeah. the trying to move patients. It's the classification of the job. People are injured. I agree. It's the classification of the job, how they rate it. Okay. So where, where are we now? We're unemployment. On unemployment insurance. Make a motion we approve the 17,000. Wait a minute. This note, oh sorry. 913-5400. Yep, just this note on the bottom about reason to believe there's a claim coming. Just interested in. Say that again. Yeah. That there's this note on the bottom that I'm interested in. Considered, considered, considered increasing, increasing to 20,000. 20, yeah. Who, who, who um, did that? Um. I think that has to do with school employees who've left. <coughs> who have um, I mean, for administrative leave, that type of thing? with the school. Let me put it that way. Administrative leave? Okay, we've made. I will just say what I said. No. Unemployment, sure. Yeah, they're eligible for unemployment. We're self-funded for yeah. It's the, well, no, we're mm -hmm. self-funded for unemployment. We are. Yes, we are for unemployment. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yes. What? So we have to pay the. They are paid by uh, the state, and then we reimburse we have the to state. reimburse the state for what they pay out. We're self-funded. That's the alternative. That's, that's different. That's insured. I think yeah. the opposite is the case. If you're self-funded, you're not. You don't pay into the state. Mm. You just pay yourself. Right. Like the town of Orange was actually self-funded. You just pay a portion, depending on people's salary, into the state unemployment, unemployment insurance. insurance. Right. And then I assume because I I think that that based on these amounts then but I don't know maybe you are we, we can double check well, if we can get a yeah. if you pay into the state that's different self insured for unemployment insurance do you pay the unemployment insurance to the state or are you self insured for unemployment insurance no it we're not self insured we pay to the state right. yeah. yeah we do mm -hmm. yeah we do and they administer that So the note on the bottom, um, Allison, the question about increasing it to twenty thousand dollars. Yes, and so um, are we splitting the difference there between twenty thousand and the. So right now we're worried that we're going to overspend uh, the current budget because mm -hmm. of a couple of school employees that were, um, Term they were terminated. They were no, no longer. Needed. associated <laughs> right cool. and so because of that and because barb feels that there's another one coming up that yeah. she was wondering if that was enough so we raised it to seventeen thousand, but she's wondering if it really should be 20 
or if you're okay with leaving it at 17 with the idea that she reserve. might come for a reserve fund transfer request. I would prefer the budget higher. If we know something is likely to come down, I would rather not have a last minute transfer of money, even if it increases that line item. That's where you take a chance, and usually what you do is, in a case like this, you can either put in a 17 or 20. You put in 17 and say it comes out 18,000, we're better off taking out the reserve for $1,000 because that's what we're here for. You know, we're going up 2,000 as it is, but I would rather just go up 2,000 rather than 5,000. Okay. You can argue it Which both is, ways. We can <laughs> argue it both ways, that's right. You know, we, we, we now have 100,000 in our reserve fund with the idea that if we had these kind of budgets like that, that it would, that it would cover mm -hmm. that. And there's always going to be there's no, always going to be budgets that are going to go mm -hmm. over that we're going to need money for. Well, what, what did Barbara propose? Did she want it to be well, more than that? She, she, she left it at 17,000, okay. mm -hmm. thinking that that might cover it, but it might not. So she's, that's why she Just put the information in there about the 20. There's potential there to. Correct. All right. Correct. And I found the workers' comp information, so I'm going to make some copies for you Thank all you. to see. Oh, great. Thank okay. you. All right. So what would you like to do, folks? I'll Thank move the 17,000. Second. Moved and seconded. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? We're all set. I, I abstain. I'm going to abstain from that. Okay. I don't feel like I know quite enough about that Neither situation and all. <laughs> so, yeah. 401. 401. <laughs> 401. <laughs> and. Ends up I believe that was the last one, was it not? Um, I think you were. Um, one way or the other. Did we do planning board? Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. You were thinking. You're right. That was it. That was. Um, yeah. Oh, um, we had talked about. Correct. So next, are we going to address the IT them. hardware? <laughs> one that got handed out tonight. Pardon? I, I don't, uh, do you want to talk about IT hardware? I certainly can. Okay. okay. Yes. What's the number? Um, it is 155-5400. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anyone opposed to taking this up? There are extras here for people who aren't here. Okay. <laughs> which, which one is it? 155. That's the one they passed out tonight. 5400. Passed out tonight. So IT hardware. 5400. So um, this past year in 2019, you did add some money, which we will be using now that we have identified the workstations that need to be replaced. Um, we've identified that three, we're hopeful to do three workstations this year and about three next year, and the cost is around 2700 um, So... Well, I guess we're going to do, no, right, we'll do, <laughs> no, the 2700 was, represents two yes. that we're going to do next year. Okay. Correct. So, and the 5000 isn't going to cover what we wanted to do this year, but we're going to make it work. What because that's what we stations? have. Well, it depends on, I, we're are you going to bid or are you going to use the bid list or? Uh, we're going to use, yes, we're going to use the procurement that we need to, and we'll do ones that are compatible with the network that we're setting up. The workstations. Some of the workstations we have are they're kind of all over the place. There's been no consistency. So we just want to have consistency in the plan. We have a technology plan that okay. we would follow. We we're having considerable changes made to the to our computer systems. Correct. Yes. Yeah, so we've done a whole, this year we did a whole new um, cabling project and we created a, a more security in the system. Um, and that's all completed now, but it really didn't get us better operations at the end user, which we were hopeful for. So the next phase is to do a domain, which will help the speed of the individual users. And as part of that, we'll be trading over some of the older workstations or ones that are um, starting to malfunction as part of this. So six over the next two years at least is what we're hoping to replace for workstations. So. And do we have any grants for that? 
We do, right now we're using the municipal IT through the yep. community compact. We still have some money left in that, so we are uh, reporting that to EOTS and hopeful that we can use the remaining grant money toward the next phase of the domain project that I talked about, toward the network. So this is only for hardware? Correct. This is just for the workstation, workstation portion, just portions. for to replace those. Correct. There's other things that are are part of the bigger project work um, that we're still looking at grant so 11, funding for. So eleven thousand for five workstations. Yes, or as many as yeah. We we're hopeful to. We need to replace six in the total plan. This will get us hopefully as far as you know. As we can. I didn't want to. I wanted to ease up on the hardware next year. I didn't want to. We could have asked for more, but I didn't how want to go we, up so much without, especially because we haven't spent the money this year. Yeah, how so. many do we have in town? I mean, it was just this, the office. Uh, right now, we're just looking at the town hall. Yes. Um, it doesn't include the police department. Well, the highway department. this has been this money. This IT hardware has been coalesced. I believe. I think it was intended to be a cost. The departments are just no, for the town hall. I don't hall. think it was for police. I don't think so either. I think I think just Highway. mostly for the town hall. Then no, John, right? Not for outside own. departments at this point. Mostly, okay. what all that we're looking at right now is the town hall. And how well, many do we have in the, workstations? In the we're town hall? We're trying to bring the senior center in all seven. Ten. Yes, I think approximately ten, just in this building. We no, separated no, out. I think I mentioned this before. We separated out FCA as part of this project and the police station. But we are looking at folding in the you know, the senior center mostly. The library normally, they do their own thing because they have the CW Mars program and things, but the, the senior center, uh, we are looking at their computer uh, replacement issues as well, so. And hopefully. the assessors is separate too. And the assessors have put money in their budget as well for that. They're gonna, uh, going to be part of the project that is gonna be working with their software, but we mm -hmm. it's part of the adding them onto the domain as well. Okay. So you're asking for six thousand. Any further questions? I'll make a motion. We approve it. I second. Seconded. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Five zero zero. Um, with Diana here, did you want to revisit the select board and administrative expense, or did you want to let that one go? Because we started that one before she was able to get here. Um, 196.50, Yeah. Oh, no, um, no, uh, 122.50, Sorry. Oh, okay. I tabled it, right? Right. What were your questions? I don't know. We, we just... Nobody made a motion. I don't think no anybody had any questions. Right. Yeah, we just didn't, they didn't make a motion. motion. We put that on hold. Because you have questions. Nobody to talk to. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have time to uh, uh, well, okay. come up with a question on okay. it. But, um, <laughs> so well, has well I can communicate between meetings. Yeah. I can and tell you that you the questions that, that I had when I looked at the budget. Like. Who, did you prepare the budget? Tell us yeah. the answers to those questions as well. Well, I think so. I okay. Mean, I think you know, Brenda and Wendy and I talked, mm. I think, pretty extensively about this budget. And then I think the board has also. Uh, we talked a little bit about it last Wednesday with the board. Um, the meetings are for the board of selectmen. Uh, we we use the the factor of five for that for three board members and administrator and this year we had some type of assistant either executive assistant assistant town administrator planning person we were hoping um so the meetings of the mass municipal like those types of meetings small town administrators professional association meetings um, of those folks of the administration and select such board. as the mma such yeah, as the MMA, the, the MMPA, right, or the, the excuse MMA. me, the MMMA, the MMP, you know, no, all the MMPA is under the other. Yeah, thing. all the MMAs. But but if anybody in the select board and administrator office want to go to those types of meetings, that's what that is for. So the, we could go to, out of our budget, or out of this budget. Yeah, out well, of we're, budget. we're much more efficient. We only have five hundred dollars. That's right. Right. I mean, you're not far. sending anybody. Well, yeah, we did. They tried, you, we, we did you tried to cover have, your tried to. and Jeff's, no, your and John's expense. I'm yeah. sorry? Allison. Allison would like to go. 
Allison went, I went this year. Yeah. Yeah. To we what? would love to look at to, you know, funding yeah. training for our volunteer oh, boards or committee, committee yeah. members, yeah. I think. So um, so anyway, I, so I didn't know. Training for budget. volunteers. It came out of our budget. Good. It did. We paid for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. We didn't over. You were just talking about this budget, so I thought you were talking about this. Budget. This sounds like it's a similar yeah. purpose. But I think we paid for out of um, the event you and John Pereski and I went to out of uh, ours. That was fine, yeah. I think you did too. I didn't, I didn't go to all the STAM meetings. I think I went to one STAM meeting because I look at the agenda and um, determine whether it would be useful to the town or we, we did, wouldn't be. And so, plus, who had time? <laughs> I make a motion it's a day away. to approve this 11150. 11150? Yeah. The select board administrator expense. We've got a motion. Is there a second? Second. Second. Any any further questions or discussion? I just <clears throat> one thing I I was looking at here is total expended and taking a look at the last three years. I know we had a one year uh, mm -hmm. in 2015 that was almost 13, mm -hmm. but we've kind of been averaging less around mm -hmm. six seven thousand yeah. max. I think I think partly because. Um, you didn't have all three select board members going to the MMA. The MMA is really the biggest okay. cost, I think. And uh, it seems like there's, you know, a couple of years we only had one. Maybe we should suggest Normally, that they only send one. <laughs> no, I was just, I was curious. No, I the, think it's good for you know, as many as possible to go. It's a good question, yeah. But it does make sense to me. But, but so, so you plan so for, you plan for that, three, obviously, you know, I think right. it's, it's hard okay. to compare year to year because there's been so much transition, long time select yeah, no, board I members understand. coming and going, my yeah. position coming and going. Uh, so I think sometimes it's hard to compare apples yeah, to no, apples. I'm, I'm satisfied with Brenda's response. It makes sure. sense. Great. Okay. okay. If there's no further discussion. Uh, we have a motion. It's been seconded. Eleven thousand one fifty. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Five zero zero. Okay. I think that completes what we had available. Um, I we've because of the the selectmen haven't quite decided what they're going to do with or what their recommendations are going to be with. Uh, with wages, uh, they have made recommendations. Well, they haven't decided what they're going to do with with the recommendation that's sitting out there. So we haven't. You know, I've stayed away from putting any of the budgets that have salary items in the discussion. And hopefully, the selectmen will make a decision shortly. I would like to see those in the book so we can take a review of them prior to voting. What's that? So anything with a salary in it? I'm not printing anything until the select board makes a decision. So we won't have it. We won't, we won't discuss it. So i got to use my own sheet? Um, for budget purposes? Pardon? I have to use my own salary sheet? We, we will not, we will, the, the sheets will be available ahead of time so that yeah, I just don't like no. having no, I, dropped on us. I understand. I, I agree. The, this, the salaries that are so, figured at this point, any budget with salaries in it right now is figured as the personnel board has recommended. Yeah. So you can see the budget with with that effect. We can see that. You can see it on your on your, on your um, spreadsheet. On your big spreadsheet. Yeah, we don't see a breakdown. No. Right. The, how, what, how much time do you want? Two weeks? Would that... Be well, adequate. So, for example, three days. If, if Brenda dropped off all of those sheets tonight, we wouldn't take them up for two weeks. Well, I'd but like to have them a week in advance so for our next meeting. Well, yeah, it's because if we have, oh, give us two weeks. Well, well that means you got to put them in tonight for the next meeting. Well, whatever, but yes, so we don't have them. So, so we won't have any meetings. The, sheet, the sheets are done. They just they're not printed because well, I felt like it was we, a waste of paper. The, the selectmen changed their mind. Uh, that's that's the that's the only concern that I had. No, I'm talking about all the. If we eliminate those, any budget sheet that we view the night of the meeting, I would like to have at least three or four I, days prior. I agree. Time. I. I'd be cool with 24 hours. Something, just at least. But, no. but a little something. I'm with you. Yeah, it would be very make helpful. Relationship yes. to, you know, what we spent so far this year. We haven't been able to do that. We have to do that on the fly. 
You know, it's not the system. best way, of, even though yeah, they're all small time. budgets, but yeah. it's still yeah. not the best way to approve them. Well, with the money. exception of the two that we had tonight, those have been, have any unless any we didn't get the budget books no. from last week. No, no. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, so we, you know, three yeah, days would no. be fine, but either we so need to know when they're available. I don't want to keep coming to the town hall. So. Oh, it just I can't make it to the town hall I, when the town hall is over. Oh, so. you can't. It's, it's basically way. impossible unless there's meetings. meetings but. Well, email them. I, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, and, and email works great, or but, uh, one well, of you guys yeah, gets it. We don't there's there's a mailbox in there. They can be yep. put in your mailbox and then. But I can't access my mailbox unless the town hall is open when I'm working. Yes, so, you can. But somebody, somebody, I mean, somebody could pick it up for me. Yeah, or that's the question. Jeff Nitt lives nearby. <laughs> All you got to do is stop in and see the police I department. Get notified. <laughs> and get yourself an access key. Oh. Then you come in anytime you want, 2 right. o'clock in the morning, pick it up. And... I could do that. No, prior, to, yeah. prior to the meeting, out. I could always scan them in and send them to you by email. Digitally is fantastic because Just so then you I'll have, always get have it. Them. Do, you, do you really want to print 50 copies? If I get it digitally, I won't print it. I'll just look at it digitally. Yeah. And then I'll still have a paper copy for you when you come to the meeting. Yeah, that, that'd be good. I mean, just, just like a little heads up is, is nice because I, I know I'm a little slower going through the process than everybody mm -hmm. else, too. Yep, right. absolutely. So we're going to try to get up for seven to the meeting for 7 o'clock, which gives us five minutes. So for next meeting, I was going to ask Barbara. Barbara um, and um, the assessors. And, and the assessors, and, and in addition to the three or four assessors' budgets. I did want to talk with the assessors uh, to get their understanding of what's what's required for uh, votes, how they need to be taken for overrides and debt exclusions, and any other questions that might come out. We're we've got you know some pretty large expenditures staring us in the face. So it'd be nice to have their input, I think. And we may have special town meeting information for you um, for your next meeting. We're, okay. We have it on the select board agenda for tomorrow night to open the warrant. We're looking at February 25th mm -hmm. for a special town meeting. Okay. And so we've got the, a, a draft article with council and moderator to look at so with the exception of the budgets salary budgets uh, is there anything in Barbara's domain that we don't already have the sheets for debt and interest on on maturing okay. debt and and you don't have the retirement because we're waiting for the spreadsheet to be able to um, mm -hmm. allocate skims, uh, wastewater, and senior center expenses. Question is, could we take those up next week, or do you want to go two weeks? We could get them. We could get them into into your um, boxes, and I can get them emailed to Allison. Okay. For next week. Are you talking about? What you just said about the override I'm next sorry. week. You just speak up, Diane. <clears throat> are you talking about the override and debt exclusion things for next week? Are you, well, are you saying the or the discussion? Following? Just okay. in general, not specifics. All right. I'm going to be away next week, so yeah. just keep in mind I'd like to be, you know, part of that discussion. So that means you can go on and talk to the assessors tonight. Well, I'm not sure what, what your questions yeah. are for the assessors. I'm not I sure don't what know what you would, You're just supposed to magically know. Ask them because, you know. <laughs> I, are you going to procedure? Oh, well, I think go that would be something talk with them for a second. Yeah, cause we have, do you, you want know. me to do that and see if they're going to be available to come? I know but John your, is not your here town, tonight. Your town administration could explain the procedure. Right. That's what your town administration does. Like, we'll put together the warrant. We'll put together the debt exclusion materials. We'll do all of that. Oh, I understand. I, that's a, the I think the issue comes Are you talking about the impact, impact in the future yeah. on yeah. Yeah. how so? Tell me more what you're going to ask and the impact for just the, I'm not sure what the value and the levy. Okay. To be honest All right. with you. I don't know what anybody else is going to ask. <laughs> I'm just curious if you had questions. Okay, great. All right. I think, it, I think the idea because is just to make sure they're kept in the loop of everything that, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. we're anticipating, which I think they kind of have an idea anyway, but right? 
Nej. Den? The assessors. The assessors. The assessors. I would like, if possible, if we are going to talk about the articles of special town meeting, um, the legal um, interpretation of the special, um, what is it, uh, for the, the created breakdown. district? Yeah, no, for the 2575. Right. I have an email from Lisa in my notes, in my file. That I just want to make sure it's accurate. I distributed the memo from Sarah Bellino, who did all the research from Lisa's office, Attorney okay. Bellino, which went through all the iterations and how she came down. The only reason I'm asking, I think it said the 25% could come, the town's portion could come from grants or other sources. Mm -hmm. Not yep. tax, not just taxation. Right. I just, I think, I, if that's the case, I would like to see, you know, what our options are. I would, I would suggest, and we're talking about this with, with council and making sure that we put all the language in the article and the motion, yep. therefore, that allows you to use Whatever all the possible that. funding sources. So if you're going to use USDA or, because you know each agency has certain language yep. that you need to put in the vote. So Barbara is well aware of that and working with, uh, Council and bond council on making sure that that is the case that the article is is written okay, uh, I, I still would like to Our council is working with our bond, bond council, council on that language. So right. that's okay. we're really covering all the bases so. All right. so good point. Thank you for bringing it up now Are they are we going to be also talking about the I mean, I'm not sure how this entire project I'm not talking about the one million dollars, right? You're talking about the big I'm talking about I'm talking the 25 about. million right. 30 million whatever it is so we haven't started that conversation with council yet. No, but, I, but I'm talking about the one million dollars. Yeah, we, we've I was only talking really... about both because I think come April we need to have that information available for town meeting. Absolutely. Sure. Well, yes. well I think we need it for this special sure. town meeting because people are going to vote. Well, correct. correct. The million dollars. Yes. Yeah. They, whatever the information is, it is. Well, Which, yeah, the thing it's, it's is you can't to tell what the have as much as <coughs> well, well, numbers. I, no, I, I, I understand, Bruce. The sooner the better. Yeah. So people, yes, everybody absolutely. understands. And how do we, know, this is going to play do we out. normally put a motion? Skip, are we uh, next Tuesday? Well, that's the question. 29th. Do you want me to ask the assessors? <laughs> I, again, I think what I, Diana said, unless this really is something we could prepare. I mean, if you want to talk, if you're talking more long term, you know, I'd say go I'm ahead and proceed. I'm also talking about the assessor's budget. But, okay, that's fine. So. I just want to make sure when we go to this town meeting vote that, you know, I'm just in step with you guys on the special town meeting. So. Just to continue that, don't we normally put an article on town meeting saying we'll, we will accept grants? Yes. I'm, I'm guessing that that got taken away because it wasn't summer. needed anymore. I know. Yeah. But we're going to end. We're going to be asked to potentially accept the USDA grant. Sure. We've, and we've with that, and with that, they're going to be looking for an ADA transition plan. A what? An ADA transition plan. I don't know. What's that? Yeah. This, uh, yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> in this particular case, I don't think the million we are necessarily the transition plan going is saying to incorporate it in the USDA. The, how you do all your buildings and is that, how you do with your policies. Well, we'll look into that. that with, with, Make a note of that. Can I borrow your pen again? Are you looking for another job? Sure. May. No, so we have an ADA the application, though, I don't think. Yes, we do. I don't do. think that was required in the application. We've already put that together, so. I think they, they come in after the ADA is awarded. They, they have a checklist mm -hmm. and they want to see. Well, look, I'd, I'd love any incentive to get us to get that done. I welcome I, I, it. <laughs> I think it, we should be doing I it. I keep trying. Because there's an application. You right. can get funded. Free for, it's free. All you well, do is fill out the application, and they'll, they'll give you the money to do the plan. Well, I think it's a 50-50 match, the, the state off, the state yeah. grant MOD. program. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, Greenfield's waiting to hear now, I think. Oh, Monica just got sidewalk. Yeah, I read that. Second year construction money. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, Instruct I me to bring to that back to the select board. I shall do that. <laughs> I've been there several times. They just need yeah. both to submit the application. Could you also check with the uh, 
with the Greenfield uh, mayor to find out how he's going to fund it. <laughs> To school or is, it, is library well, yeah. without any increase in taxes? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. He so, says, oh, we can do that. We don't have to increase our taxes. That makes sense. Well, you can't always believe what you read in the newspaper. That's true. I'm trying to give them the benefit of the So doubt. do we meet next week? <laughs> Even if it's said it's to me or the boss, you call it. No, no, I just want to know what everybody does. What, what I, what if we have something to, I, I assume I had mentioned it to. Uh, if we don't, go, if we don't then, then I would rather not. Right, go so two so weeks, let's go wait a week. I suggest we wait a week. So February 5th, 6 mm -hmm. o'clock. And that way we can plow through them a little quicker. Or January 36th, whichever comes first. You could have cake that night. Cake? February 5th, February 5th have that. No, 6 o'clock. No. Okay. And we ought to have the comp plan. Okay. If we ought to. We ought to. Yeah. If there's it's nothing further, can I have a motion to adjourn? So move. Second. Just, move, second. Here's what I, okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.